There's previous research that showed that after hammerheads have been on the hook for at least three hours, about half of them are already dead when they come to the boat. Hammerhead sharks are some of the most agile predators in the sea. Unfortunately, their distinct physiology also makes them some of the most delicate of all shark species. Dr. Dean Grubbs, shark ecologist at Florida State University, travels to the Florida Keys with his team of researchers to determine how long hammerhead sharks can survive on a hook, a project that could change the way commercial fishermen operate in the future. The hammerheads are very sensitive to being restrained, and so even alongside the boat, it can cause mortality if they're restrained for very long at all. The team puts out hooks on long lines that are modeled after the same type of gear commercial fishermen use. Each hook has a timer that starts when a shark gets caught on it allowing Dean and his team to know exactly how long they've been on the hook. When commercial fishermen release hooks into the water to catch fish, many hammerhead sharks are caught on the hooks by accident in the process. But because fishermen often leave their hooks in the water for more than four hours, these hammerhead sharks end up dying by the time they're discovered due to the stress they endure. And since 90% of these hammerhead sharks do not survive on fishing lines, researchers are tasked with figuring out exactly how long they can survive on a hook in order to regulate the amount of time commercial fishermen can leave their hooks in the water. Dean's hooks were left in the water for almost two hours. If hammerhead sharks are found alive, then the team also tags them and collects blood samples in order to study their stress levels. In total, Dean and his team caught seven hammerheads and all managed to survive. That means they'll need to continue their research by leaving their hooks in the water for longer periods of time in order to determine conclusively how long a hammerhead can survive on a fishing line. That would give us the data that we need to suggest that in the fishery you need to decrease the soak time and, and that will decrease the mortality on the hammerheads. For now, commercial fishing remains the same but Dean's team could change that very soon.